According to convention, roof vents were just roof vents, supposedly accommodating bath vents, range hoods, and dryers. We have other ideas, and you may already know us as the dryer box people. We've been re-engineering dryer venting for over 18 years. The new dryer jack series of roof vents are, well, vent terminations designed specifically for the dryer. Historically, in new construction, it was quite common to order and install the same universal vent for all exhaust penetrations. Range, bath, and dryer hoods all appeared to be somewhat similar and universal. When the roofer got around to placing them, it was not easy to determine where the dryer vent terminal should get placed. So in many cases, the homeowner ended up with an undersized vent hood that likely included a screen. The current building code requires a backdraft damper and prohibits any type of screen. The new building code, soon to be adopted, will require that the passageway or conduit through the termination hood not diminish in size and maintain the 12 and a half square inches that four inch round pipe provides. Recall that the area of a circle is pi times the radius squared. So round dryer exhaust equals. Let's revisit the passageway a bit later, but it is important as the adoption of this code in later 2017 will drastically limit the number of roof vent caps and hoods that meet this efficiency requirement. For our team, two high priority design elements had to be achieved prior to coming to market, namely, denial of access to birds and rodents, as well as zero back pressure. Elbows and termination hoods or caps can substantially increase the back pressure. Got a minute? You're just in time for a pretty impressive demonstration. This is the blower unit and rear end of a Sears Kenmore dryer. I'm using it to, to create a, a real life environment as we test the pressures that these four different vents create when added to this exhaust system. And I'm doing that by tapping into the exhaust system in two spots, running the tubing to these T's and off to two magnahelic gauges that the industry uses to display and show the very minuscule amount of pressures that, that the industry deals with in dryer venting. Now the first vent we test is pretty popular in the north. And I'm showing you the measurements on the screen of this vent because the passageway decreases in size as it, as it goes through. And that's part of why this vent is, shows its inefficiencies. If you watch the monitor, you'll see that the delta, the amount of pressure that this vent adds to the exhaust system. This is a four inch gooseneck. This is popular in the south. We see this very, very often. Now I'm showing the measurements again because this is even more restrictive. This passageway not only makes the 180 deg degree turn, but it's also diminishing in size as, it, as the air goes through. Wow. That pressure goes up so high, it's like the same as me putting my hand over half that vent. It's almost up to 0 0.90 water column inches of pressure. That's a lot of delta, that's a lot of restriction, a lot of wasted energy. Lint's gonna build up faster. Clothes are gonna take longer to dry. Let's introduce you to the dryer jack. Wow. You saw what I did, zero back pressure. That's the design of the, the amount of opening, the curved damper. This is our model 486 version of the dryer jack. Now this is for a high profile tile, like a flat cement tile. It's also good for high, high snowfall regions. But the air is coming up here, making that 180 degree turn. Watch how little bit of pressure this vent creates. Stay with me as I demonstrate the efficiency through these animations. The amazing efficiency is achieved by the fine-tuned location and length of the collar, the combination of the dome-shaped lid section and damper, and finally the enlarged opening. This design redirects the air with minimal to no friction. 
To summarize the testing, note the delta or the amount of additional back pressure that each vent adds to a typical system and the decrease in size of the passageway depicted as a percentage or ratio of the origin's 12.5 square inches. Not only are the dryer jack passageways increasing in size by 47 and 67 percent, but the airflow redirect is much more relaxed. Building codes require dryer vents to incorporate a backdraft damper and prohibit screens. Screens work in preventing bird and rodent entry, but get contaminated quickly with lint. You'll notice a unique lip termination provides substantial decreases to bird and rodent entry. The hood design allows for easy access to clean the duct without damage to the rod. The Dryer Jack series includes three versions, the low profile Dryer Jack 466, the taller 486 which is used for medium snowfall regions and sloped roofs with high profile tiles like cement tile, and thirdly, the stack jack or curb style hood for flat roofs. These vents are made in America and available in these finishes. Discover the Dryer Jack, a level of efficiency previously unavailable in a dryer roof vent. Check with your local HVAC or roofing supply company or view our store locator at dryerjack.com.